today we're talking about the Indian chief. Is there, does anyone out there ride an Indian? Because we're about to talk some shit about Indian, uh, which is fine if you ride an Indian, because I talk about all sorts of stuff. I think back in the day, it used to bug me because every once in a while I'll get a, a message from somebody. I, I know I ride a Harley, but I really like your videos. I'm like, what made you think I hate Harleys? Go like, well, you make these videos making fun of them. I'm like, yeah, dude, of course I do. Like, don't you make fun of stuff you like? Like, I, I make fun of everything, man. If you own an Indian and you're watching this right now, pump the brakes, man. It's going to be all right, dude. We make fun of everything. We'll make Har we'll make fun of Harleys on a different day, okay? But today we're making fun of Indians. Thunder Bear's right, dude. Indians marketing is a day late and a dollar short most of the time dude this is what inspired me indian i owe them a debt of gratitude they inspired me to make a talking head video again because i haven't seen anything this cringy and hipster in quite a while it's like indian made this video just for me <laughs> That's so bad. What's up, weirdo? Shade Tree Surgeon here, recording in front of a live studio audience on the Shay Lisi channel, and today we're talking about Indians. When you say Indian, what you really mean is Polaris, though, and I've just been waiting for a video like this to come out. I'm very excited about it. It just, it's, it's so exciting. Indians marketing team took everything all the way back to like 2008. They're just doing like this vintage cringe hipster marketing campaign for the new Indian sport, sport chief. I think it's called the sport chief. It's just basically like an Indian with all the aftermarket parts that you would put on it, which is uh, a page right out of Harley Davidson's book. <laughs> yeah, they made the gas tank smaller. That's 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 a great thing. That's really right out of Harley Davidson's book, man. They're just like, yeah, just make the gas tank smaller, dude. We're going to just make it go not as far. Just make it a little crappier. That's really how you know a bike is performance when it can't go as far. This video got pushed to me on Instagram, which was really funny because whoever their marketing team is, and I'm sure they're very nice people. I'm always making these videos and I'm always talking crap about how the marketing team, like who, who are they? If I had to guess, not meaning this to sound in a bad way at all, because the in India, like the actual India, they uh, they love motorcycles over there. They have a huge, a huge motorcycle culture over there. People love motorcycles. Everybody rides in India. But when I watch this video, I think your marketing team is also from India because <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad saying that. Like I love all the all the Indian marketing stuff, but every time I see a video from like somebody in India making like a motorcycle video, it's always just like feels like a decade old. Like I ride my machine, man and machine leather and iron and gas gasoline flows through my veins i am actually a motorcycle maybe in another life i lived as a motorcycle i ride a motorcycle because it is who i and it's just like it's all like that super crazy uh, i i say cringy but it the marketing does work on me i do kind of like it a little bit anyway let's watch this video i'm talking about it too much and if you haven't seen the video, which a lot of people haven't because it's only got 6,000 views. You know, a lot of people at Indian might hate me after this and especially the marketing team. I'm about to like give your video some views. I don't know what to tell you, man. Like it's only got 6,000 views right now. We're about to, we're about to blow it up. I can't, I just... I just, I watched this video and it felt like a parody. I'm like, this can't be real. This can't be an actual video from a large motorcycle company. You know, Indian's owned by Polaris and Polaris is just like a regular company, man. They're just trying to move units. Polaris has about as much soul as a freaking golem, man. Polaris could sell generators all day, they would. You know, the reason they, they chose the Indian namesake and killed Victory was because they were like, heritage. That one, it's better. Just ki kill the other one. People are like, well, we kind of were liking the other one. They're, nope, kill it. This one's better. Kill it. And then they're like, well, can we just maybe keep it? Like, it's not hurting anybody. It's not going to take up very much space. It's not going to, it's not going to do it. We could just keep it in the backyard. It can sleep outside, you know, and the new one can sleep inside. And they're like, nope, drown it. I want you to put victory into a bag, tie the top of it, and throw that bag in the river. Kill it. Indian is the new favorite baby because Indian can work harder and do better. It's got a little bit of heritage. Anyway, that's the kind of company. Polaris is very much like a dollars and cents, ones and zeros. It's very like, it is what it is because even Seoul is manufactured from a lot of these corporations. But compared to a lot of other motorcycle companies, definitely like take victory out in the backyard and shoot it. We don't even want it taking up the same space and breathing the same air as our new baby Indian anymore. Like, just murder it. Very funny, I think. Yeah, Heritage is traded like a commodity. They're just like, okay, well, the Indian brand, we managed to buy it because I don't know how they bought it or what they paid for it, but they're just like, all right, buy that one. Get it. It's going to work a little harder than Victory that we tried to make our own Heritage about. But now, and that's all they talk about. They're like, Indian, the Heritage, a hundred and I think it's like one year older than Harley or something, or is it younger? Okay, like, that's not the same Indian, but whatever, man. It's not like it made, that doesn't make it a bad bike. It does not make it a bad motorcycle, but it makes for, for some really funny commercials. 
then we get to laugh at, which is fun. So thanks. I appreciate it, man. Like you guys are actually helping me out here. <laughs> I made it sound like I Polaris sound like your mom and grandpa. Dude, that fucking sounds like a rough childhood guts. I'm not going to lie to you, man. <laughs> yeah, they pushed that 1901 hard. They're getting their money's worth, baby. That's what they want, dude. 1901. Harley's like 1903, and they're like, 1901. It's two years better. It's better. It's better than Harley. We win. We win. <laughs> we win. Yes. And I was like, okay, dude, chill. Punk breaks. I feel a little bad doing this. Indian has a smaller YouTube channel than I do. I'm 84,000 subscribers. Looking at it right now, this video has 6,500 views. It's published yesterday. So I feel a little bad because I feel like I'm punching down, like I'm bullying them a little bit, but also it's owned by Polaris. Like I'm not bullying them. They're, they're a giant conglomeration. They could afford to have me, like they could afford to have me killed. Okay, that's a that's a giant corporation. Polaris is way bigger than Harley. There's a lot more four-wheelers in the world than there is Harley Davidsons, that's for damn sure. Brought my little cooler of beer so I don't have to, I don't have to leave you guys to get beers. Fucking smart, I'm living in the year 3023 right now, playing 4D chess, baby. And so the Arby's Rich, the thing about Indian is, is this isn't from Indian. They use a marketing team. A lot of places do. This is not um, unique to Indian. Some places don't, you know, some places don't. Harley Davidson doesn't. I'm not saying that makes Harley Davidson better, They have, but they have an internal marketing team. And so this is, well, most places do it like this, but what Indian does is they just, since it's Polaris, it's not Indian, they're just like, oh, marketing, you know, you just pay someone to do that. So that's what they, that's why this stuff is so ridiculous because like the people making it are just like, what do motorcycle guys like, you know? And then they just make this video, which is just ridiculous. Bag of beer holding plus 20, thanks. No, I like Indians. So this is not me hating on Indians. I do like Indians. I think they're cool. All right, let's watch the new 2023 Indian Sport Sheaf. The Sport Sheaf ad. This is what they want you to feel. Indian wants you, Polaris, sorry, not Polaris, Indian. This is what they want you to feel when you think about the Sport Sheaf. Oh yeah, I love Bikes and Beards, he's great. I already love when the music. Go. So this is my favorite, like, bam, ba -ba -na -na -ba 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 -na -na -ba 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 like, is it rock and roll? Is it blues? Is it uh, alt country? This is what every single motorcycle commercial uses. The song is wearing Oakley's in a when camo your garage hat. calls, <laughs> do you answer? Yeah, exactly. Is your garage calling? Do you pick up the phone when your garage Purpose calls? built from the factory to perform. Sounds like a bad we, joke. We like, is your refrigerator stuff, running? So you don't have to. <laughs> this is your garage. You've left the door open. I love it when, like, the revs from his hand, either they don't match up to what's happening because they put the music in wrong or because of Ride by Wire. I'm not sure which one it is. I thought he fondles that, that only shock so beautifully, man. Let your value show actions. Does your garage text you back? What does that mean, does your values sh sh show actions? That's what I'm saying, Indian. This sounds like it was written by someone from India. I don't mean that in a bad way, but it does. Does your value show actions? It sounds like a Chinese marketing company that's trying to hit you up to like make you sell freaking like weird jewelry or something. Does your value show actions? You will love super scary gothic skull ring for bikers by bikers. Look. Don't get caught up in pleasing everyone. Yeah, don't get caught up in pleasing Best everyone by buying a Hurley or competitor. That most. <laughs> show up and let your bike do the talking. Let your bike do the Purpose talking. What does your bike tell? What does your bike say? Indian the bike says your garage is calling. Performance is given. Respect is earned. Oh, chill. Performance is given. Respect is earned. All the things that they say don't make sense. The words you're using are, are, are their words, definitely, and somebody's definitely saying them with a low, gravelly voice while the guitar is like, ba da da ba, ba da da ba, and everything went to hell fuck. And the guy's like, Do you value your time? Is your time a commodity? Does you, when your garage texts you a dick pic, do you open it? Do you get nudes from your garage on your cell phone and masturbate to them? Well, then the new Indian Sporty Chief is for you. Value speaks louder than words, and words come out of your mouth 
and actions come from the Indian sport chief. You know what I mean? It's like, what are you trying to tell me? This doesn't make any sense. It's like it was written by AI or something. <laughs> and no, it's a, I'm sure it's a great bike. It's a, it's a, I'm sure it's an awesome bike. Like, I'm not dogging the bike, dude. I think that the Thunderstroke platform at this point has been proven. You know, it's not like a... I actually don't know if anybody's had big problems with them. I just kind of assume that if there was problems with the Thunderstroke, I would have heard about it. To be honest, I haven't done a whole lot of research into the Thunderstroke. So if there are huge, big issues with it, I don't know about them. But I haven't heard about them, so I figured like if there are issues with it, they're probably not huge deals. It seems like it's a proven engine. It's been around for a while. I think that it, if something's been around this long and if people aren't, like calling for the chief executive officers of Polaris's head because he made a bad engine or like green lit a bad engine. I figure like it's probably good. I know. I love the fucking sounds the, the bikes make like that ain't the sound your bike's going to make when you get it. Oh, well, maybe if it's got an open, big open intake though, <laughs> ghost stretch. You got him, dude. Can't kill something that has no soul. Feeling froggy. Yeah. Yes. All the dialogue sounds like it was translated from another language. That's what it is, where I keep going, like, oh, it sounds like it's written by AI. There's just something off about the dialogue. That's what it is. All the dialogue of this commercial sounds like they translated it from Chinese. Like, I, what is that? It's so weird. I love how it's like, this is just like filming 101. They're like, show everything that's on it. These are all the things you want. These are what you want, right? This is what you want. I looked on Instagram. What you want? You want bembos. You want fairing. You want suspension. This is what you want. Burnout. This is what you, you want. Rustic room drinking coffee with long haired men in flannels. This is what you want. You tell, we looked at all the Instagrams. This is what you want. I'm just like, dude, chill, man. Try hard, dude try hard <laughs> but very it's still a good bike man just fucking it's just funny <laughs> yeah good is bike value high good for dollar bike is good for biker biker lifestyle biker flannel biker go fast biker skull gothic jewelry for indian motorcycle better than harley like that's what it this whole freaking video is like it's hilarious i love this room that they're when in your garage too. calls this is my when your garage sends you a dick pic do you open it do you answer? What is with that tank he has, too? What's he working on over there? So they've got the one bike in here, right? And this is obviously the new bike, and they're observing it, which is, I'm making fun of that, right? I'm just like, what are they doing? Just sitting there looking at that bike? But that is absolutely something I would do. I'd like to sit around and just look at bikes. So, like, I'm, that is ridiculous, but I am also ridiculous. So you guys are going to get a pass on that one. But the dude in the background who's, like, fondling an Indian badge with half of a tank... That guy, I'm just like, what are you doing over there? And he's got like a light too. See his light over here? What are you working on? Were you busy gluing on the Indian badge over there? He's doing something. This too, this is where it gets really weird for me. They like thunk down these blueprints, right? The blueprints. High quality, more excellent. <laughs> It does. It sounds like it's translate. It sounds like it's translated from a Chinese text originally. It really does. <laughs> Maybe that's their design team. Nah, man. Those guys were on, those guys are Craigslist actors. Okay, that's not their design team. That's like some dudes on Craigslist who are just like, I need to do a commercial this week, or I'm not gonna be able to eat. Okay, I'm just literally do the Indian commercial or starve to death. They're probably filmed it in Austin because Austin is just like the new Hollywood of the South. And these are just like some dudes on Craigslist that are like, I don't know, man, I'm just trying to decide whether I go be an actor in the new Indian performance chief written by Chinese AI commercial or if I go do some gay porn this week. But either way, I got to buy some ramen. I'm either freaking... I'm either jerking off Lord Humongous and doing a scene in, in, in the porno house, or I'm doing the Indian commercial. So I think these guys actually lucked out, man. They got they got a little better deal. <laughs> it's a fuck, yeah, it's a, it sounds like a Fiverr script. You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like those, you know, you ever watch those like top 10 videos, those listicles and the list videos when they're just like the top 10 Biggest whales. The first whale is a blue whale. It's so huge. It has enormous power. Its length is 50 meters. The blue whale. The second largest whale is the... And they just go like that. You're like, yo, okay, this is like a listicle video that was created. And then like 
some person in a Russian factory somewhere put all the prompts into some weird AI and then pay, like writ the script and like paid someone on Fiverr to say it exactly. Like this was spoken by this was narrated by a person whose first language is English. I understand that. Whoever wrote it though, their first language was not English. I can tell, dude. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> It's got, the design is very human, pleasing to eye. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is hilarious. I'm sorry. I'm fucking going in hard on Indian. This is why I don't know if this format is going to work. Like, streaming it on Twitch and then just, like, editing the Twitch video into a YouTube video. Because when I have the time to think about it before I say it, I'm usually not this brutally mean. So I <laughs> don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're, we'll have a good time anyway. Getting back into it as I take like an hour to explain a 1 minute 49 second video. They're throwing these blueprints down now. I don't know where this table is, but it looks like someone drew a, a PP on it. This looks like, which is great, that drafting table, like probably true, man. You know, somebody probably drew a dick on it, but this definitely looks like a shaft here, okay? And this is just like a, a set of balls with like hairs coming off of them. You know, this is definitely someone drew a dick on this drafting table. Um, which again, if you have a, a drafting table in a motorcycle shop, that's not out of the ordinary. So uh, kudos to the director for making it seem very authentic and including, you know, a, a giant hairy cock and balls graffiti uh, on here. I think that that uh, really speaks to the true authenticity, human design, uh, perfect style for gothic bikers um, of that the Indian chief performance chief is. 10 out of 10. The strong shape of the performance sheep is pleasing to the human eye. Human design by humans love... He's <laughs> like, fuck it. All right. So they're putting down these blueprints, right? They thunk it down like they're making a plan, right? They're like, here's the plan, which is weird because they already have the bike. We've already ascertained that they own the performance bike. They have the chief... Or wait, no, it's the sport chief. They have the chief sport. They already have this in, in the garage. But now they're, now they're like, oh, it's like they're building it now. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. You already have it. Or maybe that was a prototype or something. But they put down the blueprints for this bike. They're like, all right, spread them out. Let's, let's look at what we got here, man. Let's, let's go over the blueprints and see what we're working with. A wheel. Okay. That's the only thing on there because they're probably Indian wheels. Um, that I'm like, okay, that is something that would... I mean, you wouldn't make a blueprint of it like that. be done in CAD design, not on a piece of paper like that, on a drafting paper, but, you know, that's a... The wheel is the only thing on here that I'm like, okay, that should be on there. And then on the right, I, that looks like the triple tree. So I'm just like, I can't really tell because it's not really... It's done as a stylized on drafting paper, but it looks... I think that's the triple tree. So maybe they've adjusted the rake on this bike. I don't know. I haven't looked at the rake and trail on the Indian Sport Chief to see if it's any different from the regular one. I'm going to check the chat right now. If anyone can tell me if that the rake and trail is any different, that would make a, a great argument for having the triple tree there on this on this hand drawn drafting paper. Oh, it's a side. Pro is that a? Oh, it's a side profile of the wheel. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's a side. Wow, I'm freaking dumb, dude. I'm d dumber than whoever did this, man. <laughs> I'm a freaking idiot. How many people said that before I looked over and noticed? Yeah, you know, I've drank some beers. Okay, all right. It's a side profile of the rim. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Especially like the whole drafting paper concept. Um, there's also no measurements on it, which should be there if it's blueprint draft. But hey, whatever. We'll cut him some slack because that I that's probably an, a Polaris design. Like, they actually make the wheel. The wheel goes on bike because the wheels move the bike and the wheels move the soul. is pleasing design and it moves you as it moves your soul. It moves your body. It's like, dude, this is literally written in a Chinese sweatshop. No, it makes great. Some people are like, it makes 120 foot pounds of torque. Yes, it does. It makes great power. Now, I would say that it's probably an optimized motor. Like, I would be very skeptical if you can make any more power out of this motor, but it does make great power. I'm just seeing if any, we found out that it has any kind of difference in a rake and trail, because that can be a big deal. That's basically what Eric Buell did for Harley Davidson originally, is that he basically just took the FL frame and made the FXR, and all he did was really change the rake a little bit and narrow the frame some and make it lighter and go like, all right, let's perform the best bike that Harley Davidson ever built now. Well, it's like the frame already existed before Eric Buell. He just cha literally just changed the rake a little bit and narrowed it up. So 
And no, I'm not saying Eric Buell's awesome, but rake and trail can make an amazing difference in a motorcycle. So it is different by a degree. So that's that's awesome. So I just, and I have not confirmed this, but I was asking uh, my research team over here to check and see if the rake and trail were any different. So, because I initially thought this was a triple tree, not just a front view of the rim with the cutouts for the axle bearings, because I'm a AMA moron. And the rake and trail is different, which is important because that is over anything else they did to it, a huge step in the right direction of making a motorcycle that handles incredibly differently from a stock chief or the chief that came before it. So kudos there. That's a huge deal. If you change any of that at all, that means that real thought was put in this and not just dress up parts. So this is where it gets funny. And that one's on the screen for so much less time, but Indian, we're going back here. I gotta stop it exactly when it's on there. The, okay. So, first off, this is not a real blueprint. <laughs> like, I get it. It's supposed to be aesthetic. Like, I understand. Like, it's supposed to be aesthetic. So, they don't have to make it an actual blueprint. That's okay. You can definitely get a pass on that. But here's what's hilarious about this is this is not a part that's designed by Polaris or Indian. This is a part that's designed by Brembo. Brembo made this. This is not you. Why do you have a blueprint of a brake caliper that you didn't create there's no reason that you should be like figuring out what you're going to do with this motorcycle and have a blueprint of something that someone else designed. Like your engineering team, unless like the Bre someone from Brembo like jump ship over to Indian, didn't have anything to do with designing this. So you're just like I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a blueprint of my bolt-on aftermarket part, Brembo. And again, this is like changed from what Harley did. Harleys have used Brembos on their touring models forever. They've always used Brembos on their touring models for a very long time. Not forever, a very long time they've had Brembos, but they were never badged as Brembos. They were badged as Harleys, and they had a proprietary design that was just for Harley Davidson. Now, with the advent of people wanting better brakes and brakes that perform really well, dude, it's a flex. It's a flex to have Brembo on the side. Like it's to have the same thing as a Nike swoosh on the side of your shoes. It's a flex for the side of your brakes to say Brembo. I know because I spent more money to put Brembo brakes on a bike that really didn't need them just because it says Brembo on the side. I promise you, I've been a victim of this. But Polaris, why do you have a blueprint of this? <laughs> like this is not like, you didn't make this, man. <laughs> you didn't design this. The wheel, I can, I can understand. You should, a blueprint of the wheel is acceptable. You should have a blueprint of that. Why do you have a blueprint of somebody else's product? This, You know what this looks like to me? Uh, this looks like a patent infringement. Like I think that uh, Brembo needs to lawyer up and go ahead and get a patent lawyer because it looks like they're freaking about to get took <laughs> by Polaris, man. This does not look good. This is a bad look. You're trying to, are you, you're copying that. There's laws out there against this, you know. Oh, Magus, dude. He says technically. So they said technically they do need the blueprints to design everything else. Well, Magus, that would be true if they didn't use Olean's front ends. Quick correction here. They actually don't use Olean's. I was wrong, which isn't weird for me. I'm wrong all the time. But yes, they still use an aftermarket front end. It's just not Olean's. They use a KYB inverted front end. So everything I said is still technically true, minus the fact that they don't use Olean's. It's KYB. Like kind of right if they were using their own front end that was shaped to fit a Brembo. But they are using, uh, and it might be, I don't know if it's actually Olean's front end, but they are using a front end that you can buy that is like the standard upside down fork that you see on so many sport bikes that takes exactly this type of caliper. So you're right, but you're also not right. But that's still important to note that they would actually need the blueprints. But I'm still going to err on the side of this is dumb. I don't think it's a show. I think it's a, I don't know. We'll see in a second. We haven't watched it yet. But it is, it's noted. Yeah, it's well, it's well noted, Magus. You're right. <laughs> I let it not be said that I didn't say that Magus was right, but we're still going to make fun of it. I feel like I've still, I've still got him because if they used an Indian front end that they made in house, I would be like, you got me, dude. I'm wrong. But they didn't. They, they use the aftermarket front end. No, no, no. I'm not messing with you, dude. You're right. You, you're right, dude. You should have, they should have to have it. You know, this is the selling points of the bike. It is. So I feel like, even though I feel a little bad about making fun of this, I shouldn't feel that bad because I'm still technically helping them out. You know, I might be beating them up, right? But it's for their own good. There's just as a character building experience for them to thank me later, Polaris. 
the whole bike. It's true. The whole bike is aftermarket, which is funny. That's what really cracks me up about this bike is that the entire thing is aftermarket. They're just going like, this is our bike. I'm like, no, it's not. This is like your bike with a bunch of other people's shit put on it, which is just, that's what Harley does. Hmm. That's very interesting what you're doing over there. I think we'll take it. And we'll do that to our bikes. That's what Indian's doing. Indian's just like frantically scrolling through Instagram, pausing to double tap a like on a thick, hot, alt goth girlfriend's butt. Uh, at least that's what I do. And then scrolling through Instagram, they're like, all right, what are the, all the guys with the flannels and the beards doing? Oh, they're putting Brembo's? Brembo's on the bike, man. Oleans? Oleans on the bike. Quarter fairing? Quarter fairing. Like, like, it's just, it's, it's literally like AI designed this motorcycle. It doesn't make it a bad bike. It's just, it's just funny. The fact that it has Brembo brakes is funny as a selling point because I don't know what they put on their stock ones. Uh, is it Brembo's? I don't know. They might. Or is it a Polaris specific one? Or is it, or is it you know, some somebody else? Is it, uh, who's another brake maker? Is it Nissan? Is it, uh, is it Tokiko? Like, what do they put on their stock ones? But I wouldn't be surprised if it was still Brembo, but like a proprietary Indian Brembo, just like Harley Davidson's touring models have a proprietary Harley Davidson Brembo. CLCB, they all have Brembos, he says. So all their flagships have Brembos? Can someone check on that for me? I'm sorry, just be barking orders here. Can, can someone check on that for me and go like, does every single Thunderstroke have Brembo's on it already. <laughs> it's, it's just like, like, tell there's a Brembo for the, it was already on these bikes already. <laughs> oh, and it's the same wheel too. So I just found out, oh dude, that's what I was like freaking crone about the wheel. I was like, hell yeah, dude, at least they made that. They should have a blueprint for that. But apparently it's the same wheel on the Challenger. All right, continuing on. Purpose. He's just, <laughs> this is how he made the blueprints. He's like, on the blueprints, it's this big built from the fact look at this other guy too like dude why is fucking sean bean in this shit i thought this guy died at the end of game of thrones season one this motherfucker is over here building bikes now <laughs> like where's your freaking longsword, man i was freaking ned stark over here selling me indians in a flannel jason momoa was busy so they get sean bean over here. i wonder if he dies at the end Sean Bean always dies at the end. Maybe it's off screen. I got a freaking ASMR open some more beers for you guys while we stare at John Sean Bean's face, dude. It was built from the factory to perform. Built from the, this is what, built from the factory to perform. So this is like always just like a direct dig against Harley, which is fine. Harley dig against him. They do it. Harley does a lot of dummy shit, but that's always like a direct line against Harley. And that's where Polaris leaves me cold sometimes. I have the same problem with a lot of other companies where they're just like, okay, are you making your own bike or are you just trying to like nibble at Harley's leftovers? It's like you're a remora and Harley's the shark and you're just stuck to the bottom being like, please, sir, can I have a little scrub? Like freaking Oliver Twist over here asking for another bowl of gruel. It's like, make your own shit, dude. But their entire marketing strategy seems to be like, well, we're just going to get someone who's like disillusioned with Harley or wants a second option, which I think is lame. That doesn't mean the bike is lame. I just think it's a lame marketing strategy. May I have a bike customer, sir? Please, do you, do you not like Harley? You know, it's just like, oh, do you think that Harleys are slow? Have you heard people say that Harley makes their bike slow on purpose so you have to buy all the aftermarket stuff? You have to buy it for Harley. You have to make them fast. Do you want it just to be fast when you buy it? It's like, dude, this is exactly what every Japanese company did in the 90s. Like, Harley Davidson ruined Japanese motorcycles because every Japanese company in the, in the 90s was just like, oh, it's like Harley, but it's got all the chrome already on it. Except the chrome's made out of plastic. It's just like, oh, it's like Harley, but it's already fast. Like, it's, they're just trying to, like, fill this gap of people who are disillusioned with the whole Harley thing, which is legitimate. They're not lying about it. They, they, they're saying true things about them, but it's just a really lame way to do business. We're just kind of trying to nibble on the leftovers. Like, make your own shit. Dude, that's why I like the FTR. The FTR was a home run for me because that was absolute Indian and Polaris. That was absolutely them and nobody else. That was cool. The Scout even, well, not really. The Scout doesn't really quite make it because it already existed as a victory, uh, the victory octane before. So the Scout, everyone's like, oh, the Scout. The Scout's a great bike, but the Scout already exists. The Scout was a victory. That's the victory octane. That's not Indian, okay? 
They just freaking kind of pass it over, and it's a great design. It's a good bike. Yes, there's a lot of great metrics. There's a lot of great metric Harley clones, but at the end of the day, they were designed, like if they just happen to be good, that's almost an accident. They were just designed to grab somebody away from Harley instead of designed to be their own thing. They were designed as a weapon to take away from Harley Davidson, not to bring in someone new. And so that's what this is when they say stuff like, designed to perform from the factory. What they're saying is, is have you heard that Harley Davidson's are engineered to leave horsepower in the bike and you have to buy something from the factory to make it perform as good as it can? Well, not with Indian. It's good, great for biker, gothic, fast, move the soul directly from the factory. Well, if you buy this bike anyway. <laughs> Which also, like Harley, sells the same shit. Harley also sells a bike with all these aftermarket parts on it. It's just ridiculous. And I just a more of a philosophical thing that I don't like. Where It's like you're trying to bring someone in because your product is great. Or are you trying to take somebody away from somebody else? And that's what this is like to me. We're trying to take a customer from Harley. We're not trying to create a new customer. And I don't care. Either way, if the bike rocks, the bike rocks. I don't give a shit. It's just, a, it's just an observation. Just not. That's a great point. No one's competing for new riders. They're just trying to grab people from the existing pool of people who already own motorcycles. And that is, that's frustrating. Like, create new riders. And that is something that Harley-Davidson does. Harley-Davidson really tries to create new riders. And they get shit on for it. I'm not, freaking trust me, I'm not white knighting for, for the motor company right now. Trust, trust me. But they do really try to create new riders. They always have. And that's why this kind of bothers me, because this is very, like, cutthroat marketing. This is, like, we are going to just take away from Harley-Davidson. We're going to take one someone away from them. Yeah, you're right, though. The Yamaha Bolts were way more try-hard than the Indians. The Yamaha Bolts is a perfect example of this type of marketing. All right, let's go on. What part do they design? They don't design the front end. I think the front end is probably Olean's. But this, like, we that right there, that, like... Why do you have the CAD design for this? And it's also not CAD. It's just like a bl weird blueprint. Why do you have this? Why do you have this blueprint? That is a, a, a USD fork that anybody can buy from the company. If, I don't know if it's Olean's, but this is obviously like the same fork that's on so many bikes, dude. Or maybe I'm wrong. I do not think that this is a proprietary design for Polaris and Indian. But they sure got the blueprints for it. They've got this one over here that looks like it's at an angle for some reason. <laughs> Like the ones in the front, like these ones look like normal, like blueprints. But like, what's this, what's this guy doing over here? That doesn't look right. Means we did the hard stuff. So That's did the hard stuff. Wait. Purpose built from the factory. Purpose built from the factory. Means we did the hard. We did the hard stuff. If you're a lazy piece of shit, Indians for you. If you want to buy a motorcycle, but you think that wrenches are icky and you can't even understand what to do. If you're the dumbest person, you want an Indian. We did it for you. <laughs> like, it's just so, that whole thing, like the we did it for you thing is so, to me, sounds so insulting. Like, that's super Freaking insulting. Like, hey, you dumbass. Hey, you freaking sixth grade double digit education doofus. Do you want to impress your friends and have the coolest bike on Instagram with all the Brembos and Oleans, all the parts you're supposed to have, but you're an absolute moron, a stupid diaper shitting baby. Are you a little dumb, dumb diaper baby and you don't know how to do this? Well, we did it for you, you absolute moron. Now buy this and be be cool. Like, that's what it... I'm, no, I'm not calling... If you own this bike or you want this bike, I'm not calling you that. But that's what Indian's calling you. <laughs> like, I'm not calling you that. It's a cool bike, dude. It goes fast. It's got cool parts on it. Like, that's a, that's a dope bike. But India, that's what India, India... Indian is calling you a dumb, dumb diaper baby who doesn't know how to put performance parts on his bike. Like, the most basic shit. Like, just... Oh, Better brakes and better suspension. Does dumb dumb diaper baby not know how to put suspension and brakes on his on his bike? Do you not know how to be cool on Instagram with your brimbos and flannel? We will send you the flannel and you can be cool too, even though you're a dumb dumb diaper baby. Like, come on, man, chill with that shit. <laughs> I mean, maybe am I wrong? I'm not trying to live in an echo chamber here either. Like, if I'm wrong, tell me. Fucking dope ass suspension. I'm not saying it's bad. 
I'm not saying the the parts are obviously good. There's a reason that people put these parts on their motorcycles. Then Indian is just doing what Harley always did, man. They're just going like, what is the aftermarket doing? Well, for a long time, what the aftermarket was doing, even before Harley like started offering bikes that were like this, the aftermarket would find ways and adapters to put nicer stuff on motorcycles than came on it. You would be able to go and like, okay, I'm going to like CAD design an adapter, just like a chunk of metal with new new holes on it so i can run a like a brembo radial mount uh caliper on my bike i want to run that so you have to have an adapter kit to do that that's what the aftermarket does then this is exact same thing that harley's always done they're just going like oh is the aftermarket doing this i think we'll we'll just take that it sounds like a good idea good idea i think we'll do it where did this guy come from by the way he's new they needed like a the, another guy who wasn't sean bean and wasn't um jason from true blood with no beard. Actually, he has no hair whatsoever, it looks like. Stuff. Does he get so to be in it? you don't have to. That still gets so me. you don't have to. Way to perform means we did the hard stuff. We did the hard so stuff, so to. you don't have to. <laughs> That's so insulting. We did the hard stuff, so you don't have to. Do you want all the parts that you've seen all the other people on Instagram have? Do you want the Bembo brakes? Do you want the Arlene's suspension with the piggyback reservoir? What is that piggyback reservoir for? Nobody knows. What's even in there? There's a tiny man in there pumping up the shocks every time you hit a bump. Nobody knows, but all the cool guys have it, so now you have it. Like, fucking A. Yeah, not one single cat. Thank you, Nipple Ceiling Muskrat, for the callback to my Triumph Bobber video. The bike looks good. So just looking at this, like, I like the way the bike looks. It's a good-looking bike. I think it, my biggest problem with how it looks from this angle is how laid down the rear shocks were. Like, the more you lay down shocks like that, the less efficient they are. So this was uh, something that's really hotly contended in the FXR world, which... Uh, oh, Brembo brakes, Olean suspension. Hmm, I wonder where we've seen that before. Yeah, FXRs. So all this stuff has kind of sprung out of the, the whole FXR scene. I think is really responsible for a lot of this stuff that we're seeing right now. And so, it, which is funny because it's a Harley that's not even made anymore, is what's inspiring all these new bikes. Ridiculous. Anyway, so the lay down shocks like that, they actually changed the, the FXR shock location only for the regular models, not the touring model. So I have an 86 FXR. The shocks are almost straight up and down, which is a superior way to mount the shocks. These laid down shocks like they have this is for style reasons. So in later years of the FXRs, they actually changed the shock mount purely for stylistic reasons and the same thing on the dyno when the dyno kind of came into you know halfway replaced the fxr they had shocks that laid down really far purely for a stylistic reason the fact that they have their shocks mounted like that instead of mounted straight up and down make the motorcycle perform worse it's just a dumb thing to do that's what really bothers me about it is they're so stylized they're so laid down like they didn't have to do it that far they could have cre they could have made the subframe go back farther instead of having to attach a frame like that and had better shock geometry. Their rear shock geometry is bullshit. It sucks. I don't know why. Shelby would probably be able to tell you. But I don't know personally know why that is true. I just know it is. All right, but it is, I think it's a good looking bike, dude. It looks good. I, I hate that there's no chrome on it. And it doesn't look like there's ever going to be chrome. They've just chosen blacked out and that's it for this one anyway. So it's like, I know that, the other one, there's Thunderstrokes that have chrome on them. So for me, I, lo I love a performance bike that has this whole, like, performance look. Brembros and the fucking Oleans, piggybacks, all the shit. But it's chromed out. I like that duality. So if I was going to do one of these, I would get this bike and then just grab all the chrome dress-up parts, like the valve covers, rocker box covers, no, sorry, not valve covers, yeah, all the covers, all the little things off of the other Indian that had all the chrome shit on it. That's what I would try to get. But you're not going to be able to get that stuff. That's stuff that you can easily find for Harleys because they made so many of them. Good luck finding, like, chrome rocker box covers for this. You're probably paying an arm and leg for them or most likely just order them through Polaris directly. You're never just going to be able to find a set of them lying around. No, Chrome's coming back. So you watch. So the the regular, you know, corporations are always a few years behind. 
sometimes more than that. Harley's usually pretty on top of it, but even they're a few years behind. Indian's like six or seven years behind. So everyone's still doing this blacked out thing. Chrome is coming back. And not everybody loves it, but Chrome has been making a huge comeback, dude. People are chroming everything, dude. People are taking regular parts and chroming them. So you watch. In like three or four years, I think that you'll see a shift towards Chrome options being available on these bikes. Especially bikes like this, like performance bikes, where you'll have an option where it's like, oh, this is the Chrome package. Kevin Pape got it in one, dude. The future is chrome, baby. Chrome might not get you home, but it will get you dome. So it is, it's a good looking bike. I think it looks good. The wheels, I think, are wow. I don't like the wheels. I think the wheels look stupid. Oh, the ba -da -ba -ba. How many cool guy helmets can we have in one shot? All right, we got the Biltwell Lane Splitter. All right, no, we got the Bell Eliminator. <laughs> <laughs> How many cool guy helmets go in? They're just like covering their bases. Like, just throw all the cool guy helmets at it. Yeah, dude. That's what everyone wants. Oh, we got two belt, belt well lane splitters. That's weird. Why'd you do two belt well lane splitters and one bell eliminator? I wonder if they just were just like, I don't know, man. Just get some helmets that look like a Simpson, but we can't afford a Simpson. <laughs> what are they talking about there? What is that? What are they talking about? I want to know what happened here. What is that? What does this mean? They're like, okay, hurry up. I get it. We're revving the engines. Hurry up. I'm going to do a burnout because you're taking too long. I mean, this is actually kind of the most realistic part of this is like everyone trying to go for a ride and one of the dudes is taking too long. I mean, the fucking on point. Um, I've had people do burnouts and rev their engine at me because I'm taking too long. This is pretty on point. He's like, oh, hold up, hold up. What's he doing though? Is it, I think you just told them to hold... I love these, like, exaggerated hev, head movements, too, with their helmets, where they're, like, talking to each other. Oh, I'm gonna do a burnout now, too. Look at him. Now he's looking at the... Oh, it's a... It's not, oh, it's a fox, dude! Oh, no, it's a fox! <laughs> it's a fox! It's not even Olin's. I didn't even see that before. All right. That doesn't make it bad, dude. Fox makes a great shot. But that is just so ultra hipster. The Fox shocks on it, dude. I love it. The Fox makes a great shock, man. I think these are the IFPs, the internal floating piston shocks. The great, or I don't know enough about shocks to make that claim, but I've, I've heard people say that these are really awesome shocks. It's very nice. It's a very nice unit. But why do you have the blueprints for it, Fox? You're just going to have to do the same thing that Brembo did, dude. You're going to have to lawyer up because judging from this, uh, Polaris is planning on stealing your designs, okay? They just had, they have it all mapped out and they're going to steal your shit. <laughs> Why do you need the, I love how I look at he's looking at it too. He's just like, all right, he's going to, he's like, yeah, that's the, the design is, we finally done it. We finally designed the perfect shock. Just rub that fox off it. Yeah, yeah, that's our, it's ours now. This is, <laughs> this is we finally found the perfect one. It's for us. <laughs> This is shock for extra compensation. Not bouncy at all. Good shock. Performance. Great performance. Move soul. Come on, dude. Which is great. It's good. It's a good shock. By the way. Fox makes a great shot. They've put a great shock on this motorcycle. But the way that they're touting it is really weird. Again, they leave the Fox on there. That's the whole point is this is a this is the aftermarket flex. So this is the difference between Harley, which for years had Brembo's, but on their bikes, but they were branded Harley. Now the aftermarket scene where like, you know why you leave Fox on your shock? The same reason you have a piggyback shock. You don't need a piggyback. Shock. Are you racing? Why do you need this extra fluid in your shock? You don't need that. You don't need piggyback shocks. That fluid is not heating up because you're on the racetrack, just ripping ass, dude. You do not need this. They leave it on there because that's uh, what everybody's doing on Instagram. And that's what everybody's doing in the scene. They want people to know how much money they spent on it. That's why you get a piggyback shock. Why do you think they have these like remote reservoir shocks for baggers that have this crazy reservoir that you mount up? Because you have to have that so people know how much money you spent on it. You got to be able to see it. So if you just have nice shocks on a bike with bags, like how will anybody know how much money you've spent on a remote reservoir so you can have it out so people can see it? Like you could probably fit a reservoir in there, but no, 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 no. Then who will see it? How will people know how big your pee pee is? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta have the piggy bags, dude. Put the piggy back on it so people know how expensive it is. Leave the fox on it so it's a brand name. It's like leaving the Nike swoosh 
on your shoes, man. It's funny. So Giant Ham just said that. It's just like you're advertising for another company, which is fine, you know, if it's good. But also, it's just like you're, you've got these brand names from other companies all over your bike. But that's what people want to see in the parking lot. That's the flex when you roll up and you're like, I'm just like you guys. I'm, I'm Fo- Fox Shocks, Brembo Brakes. I'm just... I'm just like you guys. I have all the nice things. I have all the pictures of the things that I'm supposed to do. I've got I've got the blueprints for what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> all right, what do we got after that? He puts it down on there. He's like, yeah. What a terrible shock angle. That is not, that's what always gets me about the scouts too, man. This is a bad shock angle. Like, why did you design it like this? It's so far down. Like, I get that leaning shocks over a little bit looks good, but they've got it so far. Like, you could have just changed where it mounts to the swing arm. You don't even have to make the framing. Like, it just looks bad. But I also, like, don't know about shocks and shock geometry. I just know that having them as far, like, straight up and down as you can is better. We've built it so you don't have to, you lazy pussy. Yeah, your bike would never do that unless you specifically turn the traction control off. So I also want to know, can you actually turn the traction control off on these things? Or do you have to buy an aftermarket controller for it? That's one of my favorite things. But of course he's wearing bands too. Um, this, is, this is just like Instagram light, dude. It's just like a they ran everybody who is an Instagram Dynabro through like a Chinese AI. And this is what it came up with. Can someone check me? Can you t- actually turn the traction control completely off? Now, maybe you wouldn't know that on the Chief sport because it might be new but on the other ones can you turn it completely off anybody in the side chat right now who has an indian okay so cl2 eep is saying you can shut it off you can all right all right that's important to note because i've seen other motorcycle commercials where they're just like doing these massive burnouts you can't turn the traction control or the abs off like you're showing yourself like sliding around a corner with a locked up rear wheel and you can't turn the abs off this is you would have to modify the bike in a way that kills your warranty to do this but we have it confirmed from an Indian owner, you can actually turn the crash control off. So good good on you, Indian. You got, you got another point. This guy's so upset. He's like, what? Didn't, isn't that the dude who did the burnout? Why is he so pissed? Oh, oh then he does one. He's like, all right, I'm going to do the same thing. This is the number one way fucking Instagram dudes wreck on their bikes, though, is like trying to do a burnout but trying to do like a rolling, not a rolling burnout, but like I'm going to try to peel out and leave from a space. Here's how motorcycles work. If you've never done this, everyone wants to do this. I want to leave sideways in my Indian chief, dark horse, very good for soul, two wheels, Gothic biker, Indian dark horse, chief sport. I want to leave sideways with the tires squealing. It's like, you know, some pussy getting wet shit. You see people all the time, dude. I could watch an hour long compilation of videos I haven't even seen before that are all three seconds long and motherfuckers drop in their bike like this. Here's why. When you have two wheels on the same plane or axle, whatever it is, like in front of each other and on a motorcycle, these always want to be lined up. Now, if one of those wheels is spinning faster than the other one, now it can move to the side because it's spinning faster. It's spinning faster. So now what happens if you immediately stop that wheel from spinning faster? You're like, okay, it is spinning faster, but now I got scared because now I'm going sideways. So I immediately let off the throttle. Like, I was looking cool for a second. I'm going sideways, but I let off the throttle. But too scary. Too scary. Got left the throttle. What happens is, is if you're sideways when you do that, the bike will snap back instantaneously to them both being straight, which will either high side you or just throw your ass into the ground like the freaking hand of God. Like, goddamn, the American dream just came up and gave you the bionic fucking elbow off your bike, dude. And I, I just, I don't like to see people get hurt. That doesn't make me happy. But whenever that happens to somebody who's trying to look cool, there's like a tiny amount of schadenfreude inside me that just kind of laughs. It's very funny. Oh, the explanation? No, I'll probably cut that out, dude. It's so long. And also, like, I don't know, like, the physics behind it. I know that it's true, but I don't know the physics of why it happens. Like, the two wheels on the same axis spinning the same, like... Somebody who knows about physics would know why that happens. I do not know. I just know that it is true. Did anyone ever fucking wreck their bike like that? Trying to do a fucking leave sideways from a stoplight and freaking 
mousetrap in it. A mousetrap is actually when you do a wheel, when you fuck up a wheelie. A mousetrap on a wheelie is when you go too far, hit the rear fender, and it actually lifts the tire off the ground, and you hit the rear brake like you're supposed to, and it locks you up and just throws you directly onto the ground. This is not a mousetrap. We have ascertained that you can turn off the traction control, so this is a real thing that can happen. Yeah, he's like, what? I'm going to peel out too. Let your value show actions. Let your value show your actions. It's a good value because Harleys are expensive and your value show your actions because you're value minded. You bought this with the Brembo's already out. What? Let your value show your actions. That is written 100% by Chinese AI. What does that mean? Let your value show your actions. I think that if they'd even switch it around, if they had been like, let your actions show your value, like that makes sense. Your actions show how much you're worth. But the reason that we can tell that this was like translated from Chinese by an AI is that they're like, let your value show your actions. I'm like, did that? No, you got that one wrong. That does not make sense. <laughs> yeah, it's backwards. It's backwards because it's translated by artificial intelligence from whatever Chinese marketing company wrote this in Chinese, which it made sense over there. But then you translate it to English and they're like, nah, man, this fucking sounds weird. <laughs> what do you mean? Let my, let my value show my actions. What are you talking? What does that mean? Someone explain that to me. Dude, desolation. You just desolated Indian. Cause I didn't even think of that, dude. You're right. Imagine having a two minute product trailer that is so bad that it provides someone with two hours of content. <laughs> fucking ouch, dude. That motherfucker. Desolation jam is a brutal Holy crap, dude. You didn't have to do it to him like that. Don't hurt him, Hammer. That sentence, that comment, made me just feel bad for Polaris. I'm just like, oh, man. The fairing, too. I think the fairing's on the blueprints, too. Did that not come up yet? Trust your gut. Trust your gut. Wait, what'd he say? Trust your gut. Do a burnout. <laughs> There's so many burnouts. Like, why are they doing such... Like, the stunts are fucking lame dude you could have had motherfuckers on this bike like doing wheelies up and down the street you wild ass stuff and say so you're just doing like drunk dad biker moves it's like this is what your drunk uncle does on his motorcycle not what's you know what i mean i like, get yeah, maybe it's more relatable work hard Oh, it's so a work hard, ride hard all right that also doesn't make sense because they've talked about how you don't have to work it's like we do the work so you don't have to, but also work hard and ride hard. These, these are contradictory statements, Indian. This is like exactly like this is literally a Chinese marketing company trying to sell me a drone right now. It's like, do you want very good drone? Work hard. Good for money. Drone to take pictures of your YouTube channel. YouTube channel is very good. Please help us. Like, this is terrible, dude. Who, who paid for this? And how much did they get paid? We do the work so you don't have to. Work hard, ride hard. Go up so you can go down. Sometimes you have to go forward so you can back, go backwards. And Indian is from 1901 and Harley's from 1903. So we're backwards from then, which means we're better. Because you have to go backwards to go forwards. And you have to work hard to ride hard. But we do the work for you. Indian Motorcycles. Sponsored by Brembo. Like, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Like, am I being wrong? Like, if you guys, if I'm being too vicious right now, please tell me. <laughs> CL2 Eep just got me, dude. Like, the old Rocket 3 commercials showed the bikes wheeling and burning out. And when your second gear fell apart, Triumph would say you're riding too hard. An exact scenario that happened to me. <laughs> That's, like, literally it happened to me. <laughs> Which I'm sure he knows. Mad wheelies on the Rocket 3. Loved it, dude banging from first to second gear on a rocket three is like the most fun thing to do in the world and then it just breaks because you did it total bullshit let's work hard so we can ride hard i'm actually like of the opposite mind though i'm like fuck work ride motorcycles and was like work hard ride hard i'm like no work less work sucks dude work is the enemy ride motorcycles more i mean trust me i bust my ass dude i'm definitely like a rise and grind type of motherfucker like, I get up, I work, I work, I bust my ass. I wish I didn't have to work so hard, dude. I'm trying to work less. Sigma male mindset. Wake up, 
Work hard, ride hard. Let someone else do the work for you. Sigma male, ride your Indian down to the ocean. Fill it full of car batteries. So many car batteries that you can ride your Indian motorcycle with Fox suspension and Brembo brakes across the ocean on an artificial reef of batteries that you filled the ocean with. Sigma male, wake up. Indian motorcycles, Polaris is good. Moves the soul. Gothic biker jewelry, very good. I'm getting ridiculous now because I'm freaking full of this piss water and now I'm getting kind of drunk and being even meaner. We're 58 seconds in by the now, by the way now. I thought this was a good idea earlier. I was like oh I'm going to do this and I'll make a YouTube video. I'll like download the Twitch like you can download the Twitch video. I was like oh I'll just like hang out fucking make some jokes about the commercial. I'll just download it. I'll make my YouTube video out of that. And now we're like fucking two hours into this shit and I'm just like how am I going to make a video out of this? <laughs> This is impossible. The video is going to be like an hour long. Most of it's going to be me like touching my nose and being like, well, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> like wake, work, hard, ride, hard, fuck, drink, sleep, repeat. Wands has got it, dude. Wands, are you looking for a job? You're hired. You're now the new Brapstar marketing team. Two more. Yeah. Eccentric. Two more hours. Like, I think that maximum two more hours. I might be able to finish it in like another hour 40. Two more hours is maximum. All the whooshes. There's a lot of like, whoosh, 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 when things go by, like, when like the scene changes. I'm like, like who do you get, who do these guys think they are? Me? <laughs> That's just like, dude. This is how I make a video with all the whoosh sound effects, dude. And like, I suck. Exact. No, go stretch. No, that's exactly right. I'll, I'm gonna repeat that. You know how I know this is lame? It looks like me. <laughs> that's how I know this is lame. <laughs> Work hard, ride hard. Put in extraneous wishes on your. We need sound effects for all my transitions. Cool, tough hipster transition pack comes with sound effects. Comes with whoosh swish rope sound effect. Don't look at how many wishes there were for those things going by. You wouldn't hear those wishes. That's too many, dude. You did too many. You did too much. There's too many wishes. And there's also, it's like, it's like, like, the, the, like six fucking posts went by, dude. That's, you, there was two whooshes from the post going by, but there's like six posts. And also, that's not how sound works. <laughs> like, you already wouldn't be that close to them. You, you, you did it wrong, man. Who approved those? I want to know who approved those whooshes. Who said, who put those whooshes, who grabbed the MP3 that was titled Cool Small Whoosh Sound Effect Whip passing by mp3 and who put it there and just put two of them for like six fucking pylons no nah, man that's not dude how i suck at editing my videos are terrible dude i'm just like cruising on personality how the fuck do can i make a better whoosh sound effect than y'all motherfuckers uh, -uh. unacceptable who green lighted this who put the stamp of approval how much these motherfuckers get paid to make this would you get paid to put two whooshes on that shit? Oh, I know, man. I know it's bad, dude. Robert's just like, dude, it's a minute 49 video. You're stopping every five seconds. I know, dude. We watched it once in the beginning. If you came after that, you're probably like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I genuinely apologize. I don't know either. Room. Yeah. Oh, slow down. Hell yeah. I feel like this is just like uh, Fallout. I have to pick which part of his body I want to shoot. Dude, how about that fucking Harley color too, man? It's like, did anybody do that gray color before Harley? I want to know, for real. And I'm not like up Harley's butt. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, steal it. Who cares? It's just a color. Like, it existed. But that whole like gunship gray thing, it, anyone, so, so many other companies do it. And every time they do, I'm just like, okay. It's like South Park doing like the Simpsons did it episode. I'm like, Harley did it. Think of something else. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, do that. Like, for sure, do that. Because that's a cool color. People want it. But, like, also do something else. Like, come on. <laughs> like, Dodge Primer. <laughs> it does. It looks like fucking primer. So you put gloss on primer, dude. That, and, but I also, I like it. I actually painted a giveaway bike. That we did in that like gray, so I'm just gonna try to not myself too hard in here, but I can also make fun of it because it is pretty dumb. It literally just looks it looks like primer. 
that somebody put clear coat on. I am guilty of painting a bike in that color. We'll go back to my man. You know how I know it's dumb? It looks like something I would do. Oh no. I love that. He like puts it down like that's the final touch. He's like, Brembos, foxes. What is this? Fenders. <laughs> The same wheel and brakes as on the other ones. This is the Indian sport chief. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> it's, it's like the fucking fairing, man. He's like, boom. It puts it down. It's such a big sound when he puts it down. He's just like, the final touch. It just needed one more thing. The final ingredient. It's like a chef show. And they put in like cardamom or something. It's like, Poof. and the sound stops. It's like, Poof. Oh no, dude. The final ingredient. Not not the quarter fairy. Wow. Got him. Don't get caught up in pleasing everyone. Don't get caught up in pleasing everyone. Have the same fairy that you can buy on Amazon from China for $19.99. Invest <laughs> in the people and experiences that matter most. Invest in the people and the experience that matter. What what is this dialogue? Show up. And let your bike do the talking. Show up and let your bike do the talking. What is your bike saying? What is this bike saying? <laughs> that's, that's it. Your bike is just over there going like, work hard, ride hard. But, I mean, I imagine a motorcycle wouldn't make a lot of sense because it's a machine, you know, it does not possess sentience. You know, it'd be kind of like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator, like it's not very bright, like if it could talk. The things that it would say would probably not be very interesting. They would make a lot of sense. So if your bike is doing the talking, maybe that maybe this is a very avant-garde advertisement. And just this weird Chinese AI translated uh, dialogue, maybe this is just, I, I'm missing the point hard. And what it is is actually a, just an art piece on if a motorcycle could speak. If a motorcycle could speak, this collection of parts, what would it say? Probably something dumb because it's just like metal and plastic. So it'd probably say like some stupid shit. It's not very smart. So like, man, God, man I've gotten it all wrong, dude. Like, pff, pff, mind blown. Wow. Wow. I've just come around complete full circle, man. I've just realized this is actually a great ad. Amazing. It's truly captured the essence of what it means to be a sentient motorcycle. Soul. Beautiful soul. Fairings. Brakes. This is just like the, the stuff they have laid out. They're trying to be like, yeah, dude, this is all the stuff you would buy to build your bike. But you're too stupid, so we did it for you, you idiot. You stupid boom boom diaper baby with poop all over your butt cheeks. Stupid baby, we wiped your butt. Here's your bike. You're Instagram famous now. You'll definitely, the girl, the girl at Buffalo Wild Wings will definitely want to ride on your bike because you're Instagram famous now because you have Fox suspension. You have Oleans. You have Brembo's. Handlebars. T-bars. You will be popular with your T-bars. Performance is given. Performance is given. Respect is earned. What does that mean? Performance is given. Respect is earned. Do you value your time? Do you not have any time? We'll build it for you. You can earn your respect. The performance comes give like this is fucking bizarre, dude. How how is this a real This is why I'm so excited about this. Dude, I haven't gotten like a piece of candy this delicious since the Triumph Bobber video. This is why I was like, dude, we're coming back. We're we're talking about this because this is just phenomenal. Like Bravo. Bravo, dude. Masterclass in cringe. Amazing. I love this shit. More. Everyone else, drop whatever marketing you're doing and do this. <laughs> Get a Chinese AI to write your shit. Because this is so much more fun than whatever they're doing. I love this. Bravo. Amazing. India, give them an award. What is, the, what is the Oscar called? For <laughs> cringiest hipster motorcycle video. You guys fucking won it. Every category. Finance your self-respect. <laughs> Value your time. What it was the value line? 
like, know your value. Value your respect. Finance your motorcycle. Hour 49 to critique a minute 49. I like that. One minute per second. I think that's a pretty good. That's pretty good, man. I did well. Honda and Yamaha are trying to get new riders, man. And most of the Japanese brands are trying to get new riders. I just say it really is actually annoying that the marketing team is not focusing on new riders. And that's for a reason, though. So it's like, I'm just like, this is annoying. I don't like that because I feel like the solution to not the solution looks like we're going to fix motorcycles. But I'm like, dude, if they're not making new riders, then nobody knew is riding. Then motorcycles could go away. I don't like that. But that isn't necessarily the best business practice. So I, that's why one of the things I like about Harley Davidson and making new riders is they're making new people come into the world of motorcycles. Now, a company like Polaris and Indian, they are just like they're more dollars and cents. Like, well, what do we need to do to make the most amount of money with the least amount of investment? Well, I don't know. Put Olean's on it. Or, sorry, Fox. Put Fox on it. Make it, make it look like an Instagram bike and then just appeal to somebody who already has a bike. Or maybe somebody who has a... I think what they're really trying to do is like, you know who this motorcycle seems aimed at? Somebody who owns a Sportster. This, this commercial seems aimed at somebody who owns a Sportster and has been thinking about getting a Dyna. Not even a Softail. Not even a soft tail has been think it's like I oh I would like a Dyna. That's the Instagram bike because a Dyna with all the special parts on it. This seems like a commercial for somebody who wants a motorcycle that Harley doesn't even make anymore. That's what it seems like to me. I think that Royal Enfield's doing a great job. I know that's not a popular opinion. I'm very into Royal I w I have no reason to own any Royal Enfield. Um, but I really like what Royal Enfield is doing right now. I think it's very cool. They're grabbing new riders. They're bringing people into the sport. I think it's very cool. Very, very good for motorcycles. Yeah, dude. It's just, it's, it's, it's exactly, it's Instagram shit, which is fine. And YouTube too, man. Everyone's just like putting Brembo's on my bike. I have a Harley Davidson. Now it has Brembo's. Oh my gosh. I wonder who could have made a video like that. Me again. You know how I know it's dumb? Cause I did it. That's how I know it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's a big Dynabro thing, or which sprung out of the FXR thing, which... I mean, they're putting the right parts on them. You know, it's good parts, but that was just like a whole thing for a while, man. It's just like put all the parts that got price tags on them on your shit so people know your stuff is good. That's why Indian is always just like a day late and a dollar short, man. When they first came out, they're just biting off Harley's shit, man. They're just like, oh, how do we make a bagger that appeals to someone who's even older than Harley... That's what it really seemed like, is they like made a motorcycle where they're like, Harley's already appealing to older people. They're like, what if we, hear me out, appeal to someone even older than that? That's, at first, anyway, that's what it seemed like they did. Which is so, like, just like a safe bet way to go. It's a safe bet. These people have money. Now, going for new riders, that's risky compared to going somebody who already has a bike. You know who's more likely to buy a bike? Somebody who already has one. All right, that was... Uh, that was us reviewing the new Indian Chief. I don't know, man. That was a very funny video, and I'm very glad that Indian made it. I feel like they made it specifically for me. I want to say thank you. Thank you to Polaris. Thank you to whoever they hired as their marketing team. I really appreciate it. It was really nice to just get this, this little treat, this little treasure of cringe, of hipster cringe and motorcycles and blueprints and... And aftermarket parts and burnouts was very nice, man. I really enjoyed it. Dude, I feel this is a little present for me, a little gift wrap, a little bow and a kiss and just like a, a little bit of the perfume on it. That's what they did. They're just like, I'm going to squirt a little bit of our perfume on it. So when Shade Tree Surgeon opens this, he knows that we really meant it. It was from us. Thank you. That's the nicest gift I've got all year. I've already gone on for two hours. Or Sorry, I've already gone on for an hour and 49 minutes. About a 1 minute and 49 second video. Like, I am ridiculous. This is dumb. I'm a dumb human being. I'm sorry. That's going to about do it for that video. Uh, this was very fun to watch. I had a great time doing this. I don't think it's a bad motorcycle. I really want to reiterate that. It's probably a great motorcycle. It's got a good motor that's proven. It's got great aftermarket parts on it. You could spend your money in less wise ways. Is this commercial ridiculous? Is the idea behind creating this ridiculous? Absolutely, dude. This is just like corporate, 
corporate freaking what are what are the cool kids doing? What are all the cool kids doing? Let's do what they do. Yes, fellow student, I also like to skateboard and smoke marijuana cigarettes. Yes, cool student, show me to the This is just literally like Steve Buscemi like pretending to be a high school student. That's what this marketing shit is like. But it's still a good bike. It's like they made a bad product. Like, I'm sure it's great. I haven't ridden one, so I don't know. But I'm sure it's a great product. If you want one, good for you. You probably want a cool bike. And if you want one because of this video, like, dude, I kind of want one because of this video. I am just as susceptible as you are to this stuff. I just also like to make fun of it because, like, come on. This is ridiculous. If uh, anybody who hasn't seen this video ever wonders why... Shade Tree Surgeon has never been invited to an Indian event where everyone else is. Now you know. Until next time, y'all. Crashing through the sky comes a fearful cry. Shade Tree. Army. Shade Tree. Army. Armies of the night. Evil taking flight. Shade Tree. Spreading far and wide Can the world oppose The deadliest of foes Shade Tree Army Shade Tree Army Who will risk it all To end the evil call of Shade Tree They never say die, walking tall with banners high. Shade Tree Army, a ruthless gang of scum, villains, freaks, and bikers determined to rule the world.